so Faisal will be teaching stereo chemistry in next few lectures and you can see that. Uh, my next question to you Faisal is that uh, uh, students in general tend to neglect NCRT and uh, uh, they don't usually study in it a very deep kind of way. They don't go at depths. So, how should a person be a, uh, should, should be preparing for NCRT? Is it an important book to follow? NCRT books, Keshav, are very important. They are uh, reference books. They are the book you should keep going back to cross check that. Whatever you're studying is in the syllabus. It's actually a touchstone. You should you should keep looking at it. The whatever is there, that is the bare minimum you have to know. If something is out there and you don't know, then it's a triple thing on your part. You have to know everything in that book. For example, in or inorganic chemistry, that is your bread and butter. NCRT is what you have to follow in inorganic chemistry. But for organic chemistry, it's a little different story because you see. NCRT books are written from a point of view that a teacher would teach students. So they actually don't give little of the details that's there. For example, they will not give you the mechanism of each and every reaction. They will give initially, but for other reactions, they will avoid it. Because it is written from a perspective that rest of the thing, the details cannot tell. A teacher is going to explain to the students. Uh, but suppose you are preparing on your own and you don't have a teacher by your side, then it would become a little difficult for you to understand to the core everything that's there in the book, especially in organic chemistry. So even though it's a good book, but for learning organic chemistry, you should have to, you have to go a little beyond that. You have to read a book that is written from a perspective that a student will study that and understand that. So you have to pick up, pick up a book like that and learn everything and whatever reaction that's there in, in NCRT, if mechanism is missing there, then you have to know the mechanism of that reaction. Now, either you go to any source, you go to a teacher from where you're studying or you come to Polyspedia and see the mechanism there or you pick up a book from a market and read that, whatever it is. But just reading the reactions, just reading the reaction, just knowing the reactant, reagent and product, that is not sufficient. But um, if suppose you are preparing for your board exam and you need a last time revision, NCRT is the best book for that. Because uh, in your board exam, they will ask whatever is there in NCRT. So for exam specific, this is best. Similarly, if you're studying uh, for any other exam conducted by CBSE or a state level exam, you should stick to NCRT, especially because in a very short time, you cover a larger portion. If you sit down with other books, there are, will be other details around of the reaction, it will take larger time. But if you are studying it for the first time, actually NCRT would not suffice. You have to go beyond it. 